welcome to KBHU TV News. I'm your host, Sam Ryder. And I'm your host, Catherine Kemp. The season is open for the 2021 softball games. BHSU softball team is working hard to improve their skills. It doesn't seem to matter who we're playing right now. We're focused on our team, but we have to be consistent. And I think that's just something that it's been a struggle here. And so to find that common goal and bring back some of the basics, I guess, but effort, uh, desire has a lot to do with it. Just want to build with it. You know, we want to we want to take those innings where they score seven runs and put that away. So that's our goal. You can expect us to come out here and give it our all every game and work as hard as we can for that win. Um, future goals, we want to make it to the RMAC tournament at the end of the season and ultimately win it. So we're working towards that right now. Most of the season's games are on Fridays and Saturdays. For more information, visit vhsu.edu under the Athletics tab. The work of 27 fine artist students will be on display at the Doll from April 16th to May 22nd. There will be an opening reception for the exhibition on Friday, April 16th from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Family and close friends of the artist only are encouraged to attend the opening reception. Congratulations to our 2020-2021 Stuart Bellman Writing Award winners. In first places, we have, in composition, Eden Erzawa. General Writing, Sarah Schaefer. Literature, a three-way tie for first. We have Hiroto Hayashi, Maxwell Doman, and Sarah Schaefer. In second places, in composition, we have Tessa Vanderswick. And in general writing, our very own Catherine Kemp. Today, the Young Americans for Liberty were on campus with plans for recruiting enough members to open a chapter on campus. We look forward to hearing how this will go. The Cave Collective will be opening their doors on May 1st after being closed for over a year due to COVID-19. The remodeled building will provide an area of 2,700 square feet, accommodating upwards of 220 people. They will be offering live music events in the evening, following social distancing guidelines, as well as making the venue, and it will feature a highly requested full service coffee shop doubling as a study space with operating hours of 2 p.m. to midnight, Monday through Thursday and 2 p.m. to 2 a.m. Friday through Sunday. Once opened, it will be the first shop of its kind in Rapid City, reflecting the achievements and aspirations of the Cave Collective itself. Since its humble beginnings, the Cave Collective was created with the intention to fulfill a need for a connection within the community. Founded 12 years ago by a board officer, Natasha Kerman, it was the first run from a literal cave on her property. According to the Director of Youth and Volunteer Outreach, Mary Han and their mission is to provide is a safe, inclusive, and sober space for all ages and to promote mental health through music, art, and educational mentorships. Our KVHU TV staff has been making sure to get our COVID-19 vaccine. We encourage everybody else to make this decision. Rapid City will be hosting a food truck night on Tuesday, April 20th from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Students who are registered for both fall 2021 and spring 2022 will receive a ticket for a free meal. It's American Indian Awareness Week. The campus has hosted a variety of guest speakers via Zoom with a focus on dances and regalia. On Thursday, April 15th, tune into Zoom to watch Sophia Benali present on Fancy Shawl Dancing from 12.30 to 1.45 p.m. on Friday, April 16th. Hannah Redest will present on Jingle Dress Dancing from 9 to 9.45 a.m. Today, Students Senate hosted their very own family feud at The Hive, and students in teams of three participated to try and win their prizes. The Chio Department is hosting a virtual graduation on April 22nd from 4 to 5 via Zoom to celebrate the Chio students in their program. BHSU student elections are ongoing until the 19th. Spearfish School Board elections are over, and Nathan Hoogshagen and Alec Pollock will retain their seats on the school board. Congratulations to you both. After 60 years, BHSU has a new logo. The new logo, which includes the initials B and H, along with the outline of a pine tree, builds on the momentum and energy and sense 
peace at Spearfish, in BHSU. BHSU President Lori S. Nichols noted that the logo is an important symbol that celebrates the university's history and looks forward to the future of BHSU. Dr. Tim Seckwein, Mass Communication and Speech Communication Professor at Black Hill State University, was presented with the prestigious Distinguished Facility Member Award recently. The popular and highly respected professor is known for being a caring, kind, and encouraging leader, both in the classroom and outside the classroom. He is seen regularly walking across campus, stopping often to visit with students, faculty, and staff with his unique, personal, and engaging approach. Steckline has taught 14 different classes representing four disciplines, speech, communication, mass communication, theater, and philosophy. And now for some good news. The folks at Make Space and Spearfish have continued to make masks and provide fabric to make those masks for the local schools and hospitals throughout this ongoing pandemic. In other news, a few months ago, a woman's car was stuck in the snow in the sandstone apartment neighborhood when some friendly folks pulled over and dug her out. One woman lost her wallet at Spearfish, and when she asked about it at the help desk, she discovered it was there and completely fine. And lastly, a staff member at BHSU suffered medical complications and faced immense bills. Students at BHSU worked together to raise the money to help out with no hesitation. KBHU TV News is now streaming weekly from its temporary studios and the Student Union. We'd like to thank Dr. Mary Kate Rosser and the staff of Jacket Journal for sharing space with us during the Barry Library renovation. We will continue to host our weekly newscast here through 2020-2021 school year. KB2 TV is also this year's winner of the South Dakota Board of Regents Community Service Award. The station was cited for its work with the city's Winter Wonderland Christmas Light Show, a carol, Christmas carols video, and Valentine's Day card shower for senior citizens in assisted living centers, and its fundraising efforts for a BHSU staff member who needed help paying medical bills. KBHU station manager, Samantha Ryder, also won the Outstanding Student Volunteer Award. Thanks, the guys. awards were presented on April 7th at BHSU's annual Student Volunteer Award Ceremony. This year's ceremony was held in the Young Center Gymnasium in order to comply with COVID restrictions. KBHU TV will be formally recognized by the Board of Regents at a special ceremony in October. That's KBHU TV news for this week. If you have an idea for a news story, please email us at kbhutvnews at gmail.com. Before we formally close, we do want to remind students, staff, and faculty that the Yellow Jacket Rodeo Team is having a Will Lentis Yellow Jacket Stampede at the 7 John Arena, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7 o'clock. Okay, for KBHU TV News, I'm Samantha Ryder. And I'm Chalk and Kemp. Hope to see you guys soon. Keep up with us on social media and also keep in touch.